Six nine. More six nine news. And for the record, grip is not taller than me. <laughs> but uh so uh what was it? This morning actually, right? Like this should happen like four in the morning? Yeah, that's what they're saying at four thirty AM. So um apparently Takashi was coming from a video shoot. Trey Way. Trey Way, Trey Way. And then uh we might get in trouble for saying this thing. find it. <laughs> and like I guess the truck bumped into the back of him. And two armed men with masks on pulled him out the car. Or, or was that what happened first? Like they the, the story keeps changing. Yeah. I keep reading different ones because I the one that the one that I read at first said that he was taken at some corner in fucking New York. Like right. they had the exact corner at like four thirty a.m. saying that two dudes with guns snatched him out one vehicle and pulled him into another. But then the stories after that were saying that all stories say he was leaving the video shoot that day, which I believe is a video shoot for. Is that that video is not out yet? For the no. No, that video is out. I think this is probably a different one. Okay, probably a different yeah, video. Yeah. Well, he was leaving a video shoot, and uh, the other stories say that he parked at his house, and then the cars were like staked out, and they fucking like blocked him in. And they jumped out, they got him, they brought him in the house. Like all the stories have him going back to the house. That one, if they did really bring him to his house, that sounds more legit to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what, you know that's the conversation, like the validity of the whole thing, because he just dropped uh, the song with Nicki Minaj. I think it's called like uh, what's it called? I don't know. It's like it's a short, not all his songs are short. Like, they're like, Kiki or this or that. It's, yeah. it's something, it's a short name. But, uh, and it's supposed to be, you know, I heard the song, it's all right. But, um, so I, I, I kind of feel like this is all staged. I mean, even looking at the picture of him right there, like, and granted, you can only see his, the, from the neck up, you don't see, like, but he looks he fine. He looks the same. Yeah, as he always. Looks... He always has that bulgy fucking thing on his cheek. That looks like a little bit of makeup. I'll get, I'll say that, but, like, I don't know. I feel like this could happen. Like, <laughs> well, I think it's. I don't want to say overdue because that sounds like I wanted it to happen to him. But he's been playing with fire. Yeah, for a long time. But the other thing is, like, he seems like a really smart guy. So I find it also kind of incredible that, like, I mean, but I guess if it happens fast, because I'm just trying to figure like how how would he not be like prepared for this? Or I know he has like at least people to watch his back. Like it just right. seems like he was caught slipping and. It, it seems like he moves very strategically. Like, he was out on the West Coast and they told him he couldn't be there. He was in Chicago they told him they couldn't be there and then it happened to him. And now, all of a sudden, in New York, something happens to him. Like, I just... That doesn't sound right to me. Right. Um, and we know that he's willing to do a lot of stuff to get attention. Like, he's not afraid of he's doing... He's done crazy shit before. So, what do you think? Do you think it's real? I wasn't questioning it until you started questioning it. <laughs> I, I was accepting it as real. I thought, like... Uh, but now that you're saying all this, I'm like, yeah, I, I definitely... He, he has been hospitalized, but I understand. Like, nothing's come out that's saying, like, wait, where's the hospital report or anything? So, like, that's record of something. They did say that they uh, gave him, like, CT scans and a bunch of other stuff. Now, I'm sure if 6 9 comes in and says anything, they, they're they not going to skip any tests that are, like... If you say a symptom, though, you'll get the test. Right. Even though people come in all the time to an ER and say, like, I've got... And answer my pants. Then I got fucking discombobulated and like fucking, you know, all this other shit. And, you know, you you know you don't need to give them an MRI. So they're like, they really are checking them out. And supposedly he jumped into someone else's car and that's who called the police. Right, so like, right, right. So all this other stuff, it seems like there's a bit of a picture. So something happened. I think I think something happened. You know, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's exactly Do you think he is capable of staging something like that himself? I guess, yeah, I'd have to say he is. And I think he is, too. And I think because he's known for kind of being a tougher dude, like he's, I wouldn't say he's necessarily a gangster, but he definitely has that background and persona. Mm -hmm. Um, I can see him coming up with, I mean, he's a smart dude. That's the thing people, I don't think people really get about him. And you've said this a lot, like he knows how to use all of this stuff. Like he's not stupid. The last thing I would call this dude is stupid. So coming up with a gangster situation where, you end up at your house in some form or fashion and you come bring some jewelry down. Like my thing is like he gets new jewels all the time. What if this is his throwaway shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he I mean, I don't know. I just feel like he could have definitely said. Well, it one thing himself. is also those numbers are always beefed up crazy and everybody just believes him. Like uh Charmaine was talking about that. Remember the video he did with uh uh what's his name's baby mom? And he oh, and yeah, it yeah, says yeah, yeah. he took on a shopping spree and Spent seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, right, or some crazy. She had that number. baby Louis V, like yeah, she had like one Louis V bag, and it's always like people just believe anything. Like if you just yeah. put like some crazy number like that, or anything, like he looks like he bought one fucking. It looks like he spent like a grand, like and he just did this. People don't have shit like this, so they will believe any fucking. Number right, right. Well, you don't have a Louis 50. V bag. You see a Louis V bag, you're like, oh shit, fifty thousand dollars or whatever the fuck. Yeah. 
number you say it is. Well, another thing is, like I told you, I saw he was in Nicki Minaj's comments on her Instagram, like, do you still love me even though I got beat up? Like, my thing is, if you were hospitalized and all these different things, and you, you made a good point, you said this is kind of what he does, which I get that. But I'm just saying, like, if you re- really were fearing for your life, like, I don't know that you'd be joking around about it. Now, he did do a follow-up post I saw a few minutes ago where he had a picture of Extension in it, and he said, um, I... I really woke up yesterday, and this also makes me feel like it's fake. He says, I woke up yesterday feeling like it was, for some reason, like my day to die. And I didn't, and I know you were watching over me. So, like, I don't like that for a number of reasons, because number one is, like, I almost feel like he's exploiting his death. I would say that, yeah. And, 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 and it's like, I don't know, man. It just feels, like, how do you wake up feeling like I might die today? I've never had that feeling. I don't know. Have you ever felt like that? I don't know, man. That's like what we were talking about a second ago with people feeling like they've had past lives and shit yeah. and believing in ghosts and all that weird shit. Like, I, I, I know enough people that believe in that shit that I don't think would lie to me that I think are smart people. So I'm like, I don't know. I entertain it. Like, I know that I've heard... I've seen people do weird shit like, like they know they're going to die and then they die. Fucking, like, I've seen shit like that yeah. happen. I, so I just like, don't see him doing that. I mean, you know, I, know. I, I, I think that's the, the whole thing, though, is it's like you're questioning the validity of everything right now. Yeah, you're like, it's yeah, all yeah. fucking yeah. hoax. And I'm yeah. like, well, I get like that a lot. Or I, I think I used to be like that a lot more. But now I'm just like, none of this is that much stranger than fucking most people's realities. Like, everybody has some weird shit happen to them in their life. Yeah. It, it's just the source. I'm a, The thing I tell everybody that I'm close to, especially in my family, is always look at the source. Don't evaluate shit but the person telling you what they're saying. Look at them objectively. Look at like how smart they are, how stupid they are, the type of people they run with, the type of things they do on a regular basis. This, to me, is a beautiful story for him to get publicity. I mean, and he just dropped a new track. I mean, it's just really, really circumstantial. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, it is, but it's also not circumstantial. Like, if I was making the story, I wouldn't get beat up in it. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't get fucked up. But like then the this. story wouldn't be real. I, don't I think the only thing that gives this story validity is the fact that he went to the hospital. Otherwise, this shit seems totally fake. Yeah, the fact that he went to the hospital, yeah, that's about that, it. That, that gives it some validity to me. I mean, other than that, like... Because he doesn't look that hurt, and they're saying that the wife and kid wasn't hurt. Really and, that, and that's what I'm saying. And what I've heard, like, a lot of home invasions, especially, like, why wouldn't they have gone into his crib and taken more? Like, mm-hmm. why would they tell her to come? Like, that that to me is just strange. Like, if you're taking me to Takashi's crib knowing he got the money he got, I'm going to his shit. I'm cleaning out his rooms. Like, I, I'm coming up. Like, I'm not going to just. I mean, 750000 supposedly worth of jewelry. They're going to melt that shit down. But they didn't know that they didn't know what it was when she brought it down. Right. And you know he's got to have a, a safe somewhere in there. Yeah, they took like 20K in cash that was there. Oh, I didn't see, I didn't see that. When I mean, that makes a lot more sense to me. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like he would have went up in the crib. And usually, the victims, like, in the house don't come away unscathed. Usually, they get a gun butt to the head. It's like, they're going to do something to them. It's usually not yeah. just like, hey, go sit in a corner while we do. Or, or bring it outside to us. Like, I just never heard that like that. So, I don't know. I'm not saying it couldn't have happened. I'm just saying, I don't believe it. All right, you heard it here first. It didn't even fucking happen. <laughs> Gosh, is a liar. Well, remember he was on O Block at, uh, what did he say, uh, 10 yeah, o'clock? Yeah, <laughs> and it wasn't 10 o'clock. He's lied before. So.